Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 15 of the Microsoft Word tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to add in text effect inside of Microsoft Word. So in order to add in a text effect I can simply select the text and you can see that I got styles right here uh, which is actually a regular text style. But um, over here if I want to give it a more dynamic effect I can actually go here and maybe choose a color. For example I can actually select the color over here or go to more colors right here and select the color range that I want to add in and press OK. And you can see that a decent level of uh, effect change does happen when I do that. But I want to do a more detailed effect. So uh, for it to be seen, let me choose a thick font like Arial uh, Black right here. All right, so which is a thick font. So I'm gonna select this. And over here, uh, I'm gonna center line this. And over here on the left, you can see that there's a text style option, text effect option. So I can go over here and choose a preset as you can see. And this gives a very unique text uh, effect onto the different font as you can see right there. But you can recreate all of these right out from the outlines and shadow options that you see right here. For example, now I can select the outline and you can see that now I can select the outline right here. Or I can also change the weight of the outline over here as well by going on to weight and choosing the outline size or by choosing the type of the outline I want over there and or by clicking more lines right here. So now you can see that I can add in a shadow effect to this. You can add in a shadow effect just like this. And over here you have a reflection. Over here you have a glow. Uh, so if you want to add in a glow or something like that, you can simply select it like this. All right, and then you can also go to numbered style so you can add, add in the linings and everything else which we'll be talking about in future lessons. So over here as well, there's other sets as well. So there's title sets so you can actually go and select those sets as you can see. So you have different uh, sets such as the uh, default, you have the individual um, set right there, the capitalized letter and so forth. But the beautiful um, thing about this is you can select the text. Uh, let's say for example, I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to go over here and then on the outline section or any of this option at all, you can see that there's more effects. So if you were to go over here, you can see there's more lines in the shadow section, there's shadow options. In the reflection option, there's reflection option and so forth. You can go to that option uh, from any anywhere you want. So I'm going to go to dashes and I'm going to go to more lines right here. And here you can see that there's line option on the right side and over here there are other options as well. So by default I selected the line so it's on the line option. And if I were to select something else, so let's say for example, like a shadow and go to shadow option, it'll go directly to shadow option as you can see. So over here in the beginning, you can see that I, I can select the text, I can select no line so that it'll actually remove the line or add in a gradient line as you can see. So let's say I can even adjust the gradient as you can see. So now I can choose a preset gradient over here or add in a um, add in the gradient that I want itself. So I can add in a linear gradient just like this. I can change the gradient color into something else. Let's say, uh, for example, I can um, select this or change the cap type, the compound type and so forth. So you can add in, change the color as you can see right here. You can go over here, change the color just like uh, this right here. And you can see that that will actually change the color itself. You can also change the position of this. As you can see, the position actually moves. You can increase the transparency of the color as well. So you can increase the transparency just like that. So that will actually increase the transparency of the lines right here. This is actually seen if there's something is placed on the uh, backside. You can increase and decrease the brightness options of these as well. You can increase the width of the border just like this. You can change the compound type, the lines and it contains the dash types into something else as well. So you can see that you can give a pretty cool effect just like that. So I can choose this, for example, you can choose the cap type as well to something like brown or flat. You can see that this actually becomes flat and if you choose round, this becomes roundest. And you can also do a roundest uh, bubble or uh, miller just like this. So you can select different options as you can see right here. And over here on the right side, you can see that this actually changes the look quite a bit. So I can go over here and go to the shadow option right here. And you can see that I can select different types of shadows. You can also go for a 3D shadow if you want to make it seem as if it is floating on the air. But anyways, I'm going to choose something like this. 
uh, something like this, which is actually an outer shadow right there. So you can see that now our shadow is here and I can increase the size of the shadow right here. As you can see, you can see that it actually seems as if it is popping out. And you can see that the, um, you can actually uh, design a pretty good uh, graphics out of this. So it can be used to make brushes and everything else or even logos, why not? So you can decrease the transparency rate, rate right here, decrease or increase the transparency just like this. So increase the transparency or decrease the transparency just like this. You can drag it out here or bring it out in the front. You can increase the blur level of the shadow as well. So just click and drag and you can see that the blur level of the shadow actually changes and it actually uh, will increase the size of the text as well because it makes the rooms for the shadows and you can change the angle of the shadow as well as you can see so you can uh, make sure the angle is on here and you can even change the distance of the shadows as you can see just like that so that's what the shadows are like you can even change the shadow color so you can see that you can also have a dark blue shadow instead of a dark um, uh, a blue, a dark uh, black shadow. So I'm gonna uh, reduce this one, go to reflection right here and I can also change the type of the reflection I want. You can see that now I can increase the size, the blurriness of the reflection and so forth. You can also go to the glow size and select the preset of the glow right here or change the color of the glow manually just like that. In this case, uh, I'm just gonna reduce the glow amount uh, just like this because I don't want any glow right there. So you can go to soft edges as well. So we're going to talk about this in future lessons. And there are even 3D formats which you can choose from, for something like this. So you can see that now I can actually choose something like this. It gives a beveled look. If you choose this, it gives a beveled look as well. I can increase the width uh, and the height of this. Let me, let me just choose bevel and increase the size. You can see that I can increase the width and height to actually make some changes right here. So I'm going to just select this. So now I can see the changes right here. All right. And just like that. All right. And you can also choose the inner bevel option right here, the bottom bevel level, the depth size, the depth color and so forth. So now you can also go for the depth color right here and you can see that it'll change the depth style of the uh, um, text right here. You can also go to materials and change the type of materials. So if you want a very shiny material, you can actually click this and you can see that it seems as if the text is shining. So this is how you can actually add in text effects inside of Microsoft Word. And you can see that there are a variety of effects which you can keep. And if you don't want any of it, you can simply click reset at the bottom and you can see that everything resets just like that. So you can go over here. Um, and add in any option that you wish you want to add. So this is how you can add in text effects inside of Microsoft Word. So it is important that you do play around with, um, with, with the options so that you get familiar with it and you come up with creative ideas. So this is how you can use text effects inside of Microsoft Word. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.